Rick, I have to talk to you. Oh. I saved my first drink to have with you. Here. No, no, Rick. Not tonight. Especially tonight. Please. Why did you have to come to Casablanca? There are other places. I wouldn't have come if I had known you were here. Believe me, Rick, that's the truth. I didn't know. Funny about your voice, how it hasn't changed. I could still hear it. Rick, dear, I'll go with you any place. We'll get on a train together and we'll never stop. Please don't. Don't, Rick. I can understand how you feel. Huh. You understand how I feel? How long was it we had, honey? I didn't count the days. Well, I did. Every one of them. Mostly I remember the last one. A wow finish. A guy standing on a station platform in the rain with a comical look on his face. Because his insides had been kicked out. Can I tell you a story, Ray? Has it got a wow finish? I don't know the finish yet. Well, go on, tell it. Maybe one will come to you as you go along. It's about a girl who had just come to Paris from her home in Oslo. At the house of some friends, she met a man about whom she heard her whole life. A very great and courageous man. He opened up for her a whole beautiful world of knowledge and thoughts and ideals. Everything she ever knew or ever became was because of him. And she looked up at him and worshipped him with the feeling that she supposed was love. Yes, that's very pretty. I heard a story once. In fact, I've heard a lot of stories in my time. It went along with the sound of a tinny piano in the parlor downstairs. Mister, I met a man once when I was only a kid, they always begin. Huh. I guess neither one of our stories is very funny. Tell me. Who was it you left me for? Was it Laszlo? Or were there others in between? Or are you the kind that tells?